Creatine is the most researched supplement in the market. It's been around for years, it's been researched heavily for years because it's proven. Again, it's really important to remember that supplements are supplements. You know, you still want to try and get what you can from your diet and supplements come into play when you can't get what's required within your diet. Another product that's an everyday product for me and really should be an everyday product for anybody that's training, working out, whether you're even doing endurance sport, whether you're boxing, whether you're playing rugby, whether you're, you know, definitely if you're in the gym and you're trying to build lean muscle mass is creatine. I'm going to explain a little bit about why we've done creatine in a true format and the benefits for doing that. But, you know, firstly, creatine is the most researched supplement in the market. It's been around for years. It's been researched heavily for years because it's proven. It increases power and strength when working out, increases endurance. It's got proven you know, health claims that you can put on the front of the pack that are really, really impressive. So creatine is one of the proven supplements, which means you need to be using it because it works. Proven it works in men, it's proven it works in women, even proven that it has, you know, in, in, in small dosage, you know, one gram a day, it has benefits to, to children. People talk about side effects of creatine, they talk about water bloating, there's no research that backs that up. I used creatine when I was doing natural bodybuilding, I used it at quite a high level, all the way through to standing on stage and, and winning the British title. You know, I, I'd like to think I was pretty lean at that point, and I was on creatine. I've got boxers I work with that weighing at featherweight, you know, they're weighing under 57 kilos, and they keep creatine in, in their diet the whole way through. Reason is, is, it allows you to train hard. And when I was on a calorie deficit, uh, when I was doing the bodybuilding, I was able to go into the gym and because I had creatine in my system and I wasn't concerned about all these myths about it holding weight and everything else and water, I was able to train really hard. What did that mean? It meant I was building muscle and burning fat. I wasn't going into the gym feeling depleted and unable to train or train 100%. I was training at 110% and creatine was a big part of that. The reason for the creatine to choose is actually uh, creatine is more effective when you take it with an insulin spike. So it, it was originally kind of suggested to get the most out of creatine, take it with something like an orange juice because it gives you the blood sugar spike and it pushes the creatine into the bloodstream much quicker, making it more effective. What we found is when you make creatine in the format of a chew, you're using dextrose. The dextrose create a small sugar spike. That pushes the creatine into the bloodstream much quicker, which means it starts working quicker and it's more effective because you're not wasting any creatine, it's going straight into the bloodstream. But personally, I found creatine more effective when I load it in during the day. So if I get my five grams serving you know, throughout the day, I generally find that benefits me more because it's always in my blood system. It's always there ready to go when I want to work out, when I want to train. It can very much sound like a gimmicky product, but it's really not. As much as it's a great tasting product, it's enjoyable to take, you know, there is actually a big benefits to taking creatine in this format. And you know, I honestly do believe this is the most efficient and effective way to take creatine.